last on our call, Courtney, all the way from Arizona. I'm sure it's pretty warm where you are. <laughs> we would all like some of that heat up here, Courtney. We came home and it got cold. So Kurt, Courtney is a pharmacist, but spelled with F-A-R-M-I. <laughs> What's the rest of it? Pharmacist. I forget the rest of it. <laughs> I'm trying to spell it. Ah, C I S T. Oh my gosh. Um, and uh, I'm, she's just passion, passion, passion. She is pretty much in the top two or three in customer acquisition pretty much every month. That's how strong she believes in our product and shares it with her. Um, I guess customers you would call it, as well as all her friends and family. So I'm going to get Courtney to jump right in and share her story right from you know, how did you hear about it? How did someone that's a doctor actually get Juice Plus? <laughs> and then how have you started sharing it when uh, so many doctors don't get it? So take it away, Courtney, tell all of it. Hey, thank you so much for having me on here. And um, yes, conference was absolutely wonderful. I actually think it was my most favorite conference ever. So if you were there, so, so fun. But anyways, I look forward to having you all come to Phoenix in April and I'll show you around. We'll go out to the bars. No, just kidding. But yeah, we will. But um, it'll be so much fun. But yeah, as far as Juice Plus goes and the, pro and the products and the program, I actually had a lot of irritable bowel syndrome issues. And I started way back when I was in high school because I'm not sure if you guys are around my same age or not, probably a little younger. Um, but when I was in high school, it was the low fat stage the low fat craze. And so it was all tortillas, bagels, pasta, nothing with fat in it. And um, so pretty much all I ate was gluten and carbs. And so I um, did that in high school. I did that in college. And in college, when I was in the library at the, in the, at, you know, at midnight, I had these sugary dairy filled mochas, coffees, you know, and so that kept me up in the middle of the night trying to study for all these huge exams that we had in pharmacy school. And of course we had snacks and stuff. So I did not treat my body super well. You know, I thought I was healthy because of the crazes at the time, but I seriously was not healthy come to find out later. And when I went to pharmacy school, I would, or I'm sorry, when I graduated from pharmacy school, I started working in a retail setting about a year later after I did my residency and I was standing on my feet for about 10 to 12 hours a day. And when patients were coming in and out all the time, I didn't have time to eat. And if I would have time to eat, it was running to the back and shoving a couple of bites of food in my stomach and then going back out. And then when I got tired during the day, I would drink caffeine or I would just um, resort to chocolate or sugar, right? So that didn't do very well for my stomach either. And um, even though I still thought I was healthy, I was working out, et cetera, I had this irritable bowel syndrome and leaky gut. And um, I went home looking and feeling like I was pregnant all the time and also bloated and just got really depressed about how I was feeling. I wouldn't let anybody touch me. I didn't want to go out at night because none of my clothes fit. And so I'm not sure if any of you have ever felt like that, but it was awful for me, but I felt like that was going to be the rest of my life until... Um, I started going to doctors. I did colonoscopies. I did endoscopies. I did the whole nine yards. I went to naturopaths. They gave me a ton of vitamins. They said, you know, you're allergic to all these foods and it just wasn't healthy. I just didn't, wasn't doing that well. But again, I still thought I was healthy in my mind. And then I got introduced to Juice Plus by my friend Kim Barker. And a lot of you do know that Kim and I have been going to school ever since junior high together. And um, I actually said no to her because I was a pharmacist, I knew it all. And I, you know, and um, most pharmacists and most uh, doctors, they do think that they know it all. And so I was, but I was still passionate about going to listening to the doctors speak. Um, the only person that really changed my mind was Dr. David Phillips. And I'm sure that you guys have heard Dr. David Phillips speak before. And he is a game changer. He was a game changer for me and he totally changed my life. So a year later, I said yes to the product. It just capsules. Um, I didn't do the shakes because of the whole soy crap that we hear in the media, right? Um, but then um, I decided to take on the whole Form 30 program, what we call now the Shred 10 program, cut out the dairy, cut out the gluten. I had already cut out gluten before and it was making me feel a little bit better, but not really. I cut out the dairy, did the shakes and the capsules, and it changed my life. And I no longer have migraines. I have um, better energy, way better energy, and uh, my face has cleared up 
quite a bit. I used to have cystic acne and my mood is just so much better. And the laundry list goes on and on and on. But that's how I actually got it is just going to events. I, I went to probably three different PPLs or here in Phoenix before I went to the last one. I actually just kept on going and going. And Dr. David Phillips was the only one that could change me because I related to him in the fact that I love to work out and he was an athlete. And then as far as the business goes, Kim had taken me out to dinner and I could hear her start to, you know, present the business. And I said, no, as like, I'm not going to do a business. I just not my thing. Right. And so she, she was cool. She laid back on it. And, um, about six months later I said, yeah, I'll do it to get uh, my products paid for. And that's all I wanted to do. And Sarah Beardmore just asked me at one of the events that I went to, I told her, I was like, Hey Sarah, did you know that I joined the team? And she said, no, I didn't know that you joined the team. And yeah, I just did it to you know, pay for my products. And she said, well, what do you, we're like, what do you see yourself doing in the next five years? And, um, so that's kind of what it all started. I'm like, hmm, I don't feel like being a pharmacist. And that's a whole other story. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel like being a pharmacist anymore. It just kind of lost my passion. It was so stressful. And I'm like, well, maybe this is something that I want to do. I will be able to have time freedom five years from now, maybe, and um, not have to go to work every day, not have to be at a nine to five job. So that's uh, pretty much in a nutshell, um, what has um, my product story and a little bit about my business story. Anything that I forgot oh. that you can think of? Melissa, <laughs> so. you're on mute. Oh. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I start talking away to myself. Nobody's answering me. Thank you so much, Courtney. Um, maybe just quickly, because we've got um, a couple more minutes. Just how did you start sharing it? Because you're a doctor, right? And you're a pharmacist, and I'm sure you're probably not supposed to be doing that at work, right? <laughs> right, right. And I and I really didn't. Um, I. I had an event. I had a wine and wellness event at my house and I invited all my work friends. I invited some people that I worked out with. And so it's just getting people to that event. And Sarah Beardmore came over and she did the work. And so I was just like, this is going to be fun wine night. I think I had like maybe 10, 12 people the first night. And, um, and I just, I did tell them that it's going to be wine and wellness. We're just going to learn some things you guys know how we do events and stuff but it's really just getting people out to an event and letting the upline do the work and that's what i did and i my actual big first event was going to eric worry's gopro um whatever he calls it but that, that was my first big event and that's where i actually caught the vision and his skills that are in his book that's what I started using on people. When I'd have conversations with people, I would actually just say, hey, if I sent you a video, would you watch it? And I started just using the third-party tools because I, as a pharmacist, I'm considered the expert all the time, and that's what I'm used to being, and that's what I had to really get away from is just stop being the expert because not everybody is an expert at, um, at stuff. Yeah, I knew a lot about the product because I had researched it and looked into it, but... Um, um, Oh, it's called Stephanie. It's called GoPro by Eric Worre. And um, so, yeah, it was there. There it is right there. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, thanks, Brandy. Thank you. <laughs> got it handy. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's just following those steps pretty much and um, just using those third party tools of a video and um, even upline or other people you like like getting people to an event, I used Sarah to basically do the work for me. That's awesome. And how would you recommend sharing um, or introducing it or starting a conversation about it with a, a pharmacist or a medical professional? Uh, that is so tough. It is really tough. And I will tell you, it's just being a person and not even, not even going into like, hey, I think that you would really like to, to recommend this to your patients or, hey, I think that this would be really good business opportunity for you because you see so many patients. That's not the way to approach it. They just treat them like treat us and treat them just like you would treat your friend and just talk to them like a normal person and see what their pains are, maybe for their own health, maybe for their own family. Um, see what their beliefs are in medication, see what their beliefs are in food. You just start asking questions and see how they're doing, um, how stressful their job is, because all of our jobs are pretty stressful. And so it's just digging into what their pains are for themselves, because we're all, we're all super selfish, right? And um, even though we don't like to admit it, we are. And 
it's something that like pharmacists we're like I said, we know everything. And if we approach it as, yeah, look at the research, look at you, look at this. And we're just going to say, no, like, I don't like this research. I don't want to look at the research. We're just going to be like, you know, I already know this. I don't need another vitamin on my shelf. I, you know, I don't need, you know, I just, I don't believe in this. And so it's just kind of like, just anybody that you would talk to, we're just like the same person. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's uh, okay. great. Cool. Any final tips on what you would attribute your success to in this business? Yeah, um, my my success is talking to so many people. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I used to be the shyest person in the entire world. I used to be one of those girls who would just, at a first dance lesson, tennis lesson, anything, I would just be clinging to the fence and not be doing anything. So I just really had to learn to talk to people and get out of my comfort zone and get into another comfort zone of just striking up a conversation. I strike up a conversation with anybody now. My husband's like, oh my goodness, are we ever going to be able to leave? But it's just getting to know the person. And if they, if you, if, um, if we, like mesh with them, that's great. If we don't, that's great too. And so um, a lot of the things that I do is just creating the and building relationships. And that's not, that used to not be my strong point. And it still probably isn't my biggest strong point, but it actually is it works, you know, just not being good at something, but practicing, it definitely helps. Um, one thing when I'm talking to people too, is just not always thinking in my head, juice plus, juice plus, juice plus. It's like, get to know them, get to know the person. Don't focus on the outcome. Yeah, will they probably end up getting juice plus from us sometime? Possibly, but we don't know that. So it's just not focusing on, okay, I'm talking to this person to, to possibly get, this, get them on juice plus. They will feel that from you, whether you think that you're doing it or not. They will get that vibe from you that you're trying to possibly have that mindset. So that is kind of like where I learned is just like, okay, get to know the person. Don't even think about Juice Plus. Don't even bring it up in the conversation until later on down the line when they're watching you and like you, you get to know them and you get to know what their pains are again. Um, another thing that I actually um, do besides not, not figure or not focus on the outcome of when I'm talking to people, even when I've already presented Juice Plus or presented about the business is don't um, take it personally. If they're not getting back to us or they're, or they're saying no to us, don't take it personally. Just get up, get, um, just move on. Um, and that's kind of like what I attribute my success to being. And um, a big thing too is if they're like trying to argue with me and be like, this stuff is crap or, or whatever it may be, I'm just going to be like, you know what? This may not be for you then you take it away from them. If you take it away from them, they're, then they're going to be like, well, wait, wait, maybe, maybe it is for me. And that's kind of like what I learned too, is just that huge takeaway. And so I'm not sure if that's something that you guys have used before, but I found that that is a pretty big success, success is because we like, we don't need you. You need this from us more than we need you. And so that's the attitude that I have. Love it. It's so true. When you can totally detach, it's like, fine, cool, awesome. And just one last quick question, Courtney. So as I said, you're one of the top, if not the top, some months in customer acquisition. Where do you find them all? And how do you manage them all? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, customer jail is what I call it. Um, so yeah, where do I find them all is um, striking up conversations on Facebook again, or out, out, out and about. I did grow up um, in a lot of dance classes and a lot of different things. So I have a lot of friends that are here in the city. So I haven't even tapped into all my warm market. And so when I say that is like, when I'm on Facebook, say I'm like at the car dealership waiting for my oil change and I don't have my list in front of me that I know that I need to reach out to. So I'm on Facebook Messenger and I see who's active. Have you guys ever seen who's active on Facebook Messenger? Just, just be like, hey, Brandy, how's it going? Just strike up a conversation and just say hi, right? And then see where it goes. When you friend somebody on Facebook or they friend you, get on Facebook Messenger right away and actually just start a conversation with them. Hey, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in so long. So that's actually kind of what I do is just um, as much as I can, just get on Messenger and use that as a big tool. 
you never know who's on who's on and active and then you know that they're active so they're probably going to get back to you right away too great tip and now that you have them all how do you deal with them all <laughs> okay so when i have them all and i get them as a customer um the, and i say that they're getting a shred I send them a big envelope and I give them samples of the bars or something like that. So I give them a sample of the cherry and I give them a sample of the chocolate bar and I send them, I'm not sure if you guys have seen these postcards. They were at conference and I picked up a bunch of them uh, maybe a year ago and they last a long time. So I, um, there's a blank spot on the back and so I send them a postcard just saying, hey, thanks for your order. I just wanted to thank you and just give you a sample of our couple of bars. They're great for snacks as a thank you, something like that. So I give them that and then some, sometimes they end up ordering bars. And then as far as Shred goes, I do follow the guidelines. I do check in with them every day via text or via phone call, whatever it may be, just follow those guidelines. Um, another thing that I've started and I think it's going really well is I use a company called Send Out Cards. Have you guys ever heard of Send Out, send out Cards? Okay. It is another network marketing company and it's great because um, I can create campaigns. And what I mean by that is if I have a shred customer, I can chat or put their information into the send out cards um, database, put their address and all that kind of stuff. And I say, okay, I wanna send my customer the shred 10 campaign. And so the first card is thanking them and welcoming, welcoming them to the shred. The second card sends out automatically, like three weeks later, saying congratulations on finishing your first shred. Um, and I can't remember the rest of it, but pretty much it's a, congratulations on finishing your first shred. The second, the third card I send out is something about water, like why it's so important to send water. Another one I, that I send out is why it's so important to get exercise. And then an, another one that I send out is something about sleep. So like every so often they are hearing from me and they get something in the mail. How many of us like to receive something in the mail? right? So it's not often that we get something in the mail. Yeah. And so, so they get these cards and if, um, just so that they'll actually be reminded to take their juice plus, take their, you know, take their, um, shakes. And if somebody's looking for something to get healthy, then they're thinking of, Oh, Courtney sends me these cards. I'm thinking of Courtney all the time. I'm going to refer them to her. And of course, like there's conversations that happen in the middle of all this, but say I have raving fans who don't want to be doing the business, I send them cards and stuff all the time just to keep them engaged. I even send them a postcard a month before their product is going to ship saying, hey, your product is going to ship on this date. If you need to make any changes, let me know and or log into the new customer, whatever thing that they have now that we have, um, the customer care portal. So log in and change it yourself. And so that's what I've been doing. And it's all through send out cards. I don't actually use the juice plus cards. You can actually go on your virtual office and use the juice plus cards. But also I have where you can, you can send out a ton of birthday cards a month before, like you can actually just say on um, October 15th, I want to send all my cards out for everybody who has a birthday in November. So it sends a birthday card to all those people. And I only have to push like click, 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 button, done, you know? And so I don't have to worry about that. So it's, that's how I'm keeping engaged now. And it seems, and people are loving the cards too. And so hopefully it's, it keeps it where they're staying as a customer and they want to be a, a team member also. That's awesome. I used to do send out cards. You're reminding me all about that again. Oh my gosh, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Courtney, for sharing those awesome tips and your story. And yeah, we're going to take you up, come visit you in Arizona and give us a tour. <laughs> yeah, totally. And if everybody wants to go out to the Tower Garden place, it is about, I know someone said that the other day, but it's about 45 minutes probably from downtown. So we'll work something out. Yeah, we can talk about that later for sure. Yeah, awesome. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. You can go yeah. enjoy the rest of your evening. It's only uh, 6 30 there for you. 6 20. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Courtney. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Bye. Courtney. Bye. Bye. Everybody else stay on. Everybody else stay on. Yeah, nobody go anywhere. So, um, what we want to do tonight, guys, is just go over some stuff that happened at conference. 
Um, I'll start if that's okay, Jen, because my family's going to come home and then I want to be able to mute myself. So I am so excited to share with you guys some updates to the Healthy Living, oh, they're home, <laughs> Healthy Living website. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let's see here. Oops, where? Oh. I'm trying to find this is so weird. Okay. All right. Okay. Can you guys see this? Somebody give me a thumbs up. Awesome. All right. So healthylivingrevolution.com. So you guys have probably seen this video before here. I'm not going to play it now. If you haven't watched these videos, go on this website tonight if you're still up late or tomorrow and go through this it's so exciting i'm not going to play any videos i just want to walk you through it because i am so excited to share this with you so this is home and you can give this out to your customers um for reps though just before i go on any further when you come to this you can scroll down and it shows webinars here cookbooks all kinds of stuff here great great resources for you but right down here this little white wheel that's where you want to click on it and I'll just show you a quick click on it it's going to open up another page um, and it's going to ask you for the password and that's revolution to take you into other tools and things okay but I don't want to go there tonight I want to go back up here so resources they're listed at the bottom as well you guys have seen this the um, cookbook. So as I said, you are welcome to share this. You can use this as a, a tool to engage people or as a thank you, however you see fit. There's some testimonials here about it and download it right now. I download it and then I just email it to my customers. Um, that's not new though. You know all those great Healthy Living Revolution webinars that have been done? This is where they are, right here, the live videos. So this is the most recent one with um, Dr. Mitra Ray and Tim Emmett. He's a professional climber, and they're talking about the Omega Blend. So it's here. But if you want to see new um, previous ones, click here, and everything is housed here. So if you're like, where is that talk with Mitra talking about a ketogenic diet versus plant-based? It's here. We've got Lisa Peppel talking about um, farm to capsule. Dr. Phillips, Inflammation, Evolution to Revolution by Dr. Kim Dalzell, Dr. Sears, Brain Health. There's Mitra's, uh, Feeding the Good Guys, Your Inner Ecosystem. All you science people, I'm sure you're getting pretty excited. Um, soy Myths versus Facts, Jan Roberto, Carol Watson, Enzymes, Gluten. Look at all of this. Isn't this awesome? So you can watch these yourself or this little button up here is Share and that'll give you a link and then you can copy that link and then send it off to your customers if you want to send them a specific one. Isn't this awesome? They're all there. All right. Um, home fitness. I'm kind of partial to this one. You might know some people in these videos here. <laughs> oh, there are five of us that did two videos each with two people in each video. So three people per video. So um, therefore there's 10 videos for our shred 10. So you can do these, use these yourself. You could have some friends over and work out together. You can um, direct your customers here so that they can actually do some workouts at home, right? And there's three different levels in every video, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So you can watch them. Um, we just videoed them ourselves. We They're gonna become more and more professional as we go, but uh, we had a good time here. So here's Jim, Jen and I, and another Another one down here. Poor Jimmy's a little tired. <laughs> oh, we had such a great time recording these. It was hilarious. So there is some awesome at-home workouts, and there is so much stuff coming down on the fitness side of things. And that's all I can say about that right now. But stay tuned. Charity Miles. For those of you that don't know, you need to download this app. It's a free app. And when you work out, you go in and you, right here, it says it tracks your distance and large companies make contributions to the charities you selected. Isn't that amazing? So you go for a run and you just log in on your app there and there's all these charities that you can support. 
It's a really cool app. I'm just starting to use it myself. I've got to get more into the habit of it, but it's such a great thing that uh, we are a part of. So you work out and people benefit. It's just win-win for everyone. So that is there. Community events, that's just listing different examples of different types of events. So um, there's um, webinars, so that'll take you back to those other things. Freedom Revolution, I don't think this is, let me just see if it's, I think it's, oh yeah, it is. So this is a brand new booklet that came out. There's going to be a lot more coming here. This is all about the business, obviously. So this is, as I said, a new brochure. It's really nice. So it's talking about, so you could just ha walk your um, prospect through this or send them this so that they can take a look. So again, I'm not going to go through every page. Otherwise, we're going to be on this call tonight, but go through it. It's just a little flip book. Click on the arrows, just like you're reading a book. Okay. It's it's awesome, awesome. Start strong. This is so amazing for kids, starting them off when they're young, right? It's so important. We start them young and then hopefully they are going to be much healthier all along. So there's a couple testimonials here. There's this amazing book. I already downloaded it. Whoops. So it would be faster just to show you guys quick. It is like a workbook with such great stuff in it to share with kids. Just taking you through it quick. So there's a lunchbox planning guide, there's snacks, um, and then you actually can participate with them in the challenge. Um, and it gives you some things that you can do here. I don't, again, go through this, but here's a lunchbox planning guide so they can check off what they want and so on. Some snack ideas, so colorful. And look at this, some fun exercise things. And other than just exercise for ages three to six, seven to 11, and then you can even create your own because we know teenagers aren't going to play with this. <laughs> so just a cool, cool resource. And then look at that. They even can um, print off this certificate for them. So just such a great program to get the whole family healthy. I'm so excited about this. Um, the children's health study you already know about, but there's a new video there, so go watch it. I have seen it before several times, and I started to watch it again tonight to re-familiarize myself. And again, I just, I welled up. It's about, it's, it's kind of like a video, but it's to the kid, and it ends with love mom, love dad. It's emotional. It's so great. Watch it. And then there's a new YouTube contest that the company has launched. Kids inspiring kids. So basically, the kids video themselves on how they make their favorite healthy snack, how to play your favorite healthy game, a special skill you have, a message about making healthy choices or something else, whatever it is, something about being a healthy lifestyle. And then right here, what do you do afterwards? You upload your video to YouTube, copy the link, complete the form below, and you get to go into a draw to win a tower garden. Our company is giving away two tower gardens. So have some fun. Get your kids doing this. They showed a few examples at conference and they're pretty funny and kids are so creative. So encourage your guys to do this and participate in this fun contest. But wow, just so awesome getting the kids involved. One simple change. I don't think there's anything new. Oh, I don't know what that red line is. That's, that's weird, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just about the products. Shred Ted is what you guys know. And is about us changed? Yeah, just about us. Community gives. Pretty cool, hey? So please go through this, click on all these tabs, watch the video so you get familiar with them. This is a huge resource. And that's, that's just the beginning of it. And that's available for your customers. And remember that you guys can scroll down to the bottom to that little white wheel and get into all the other resources. I'll just click in here really quick just to show you because we got to get, I got to stop talking. Come on. So, oh, this is, um, yeah, so there's a few new resources here as well. So there's that um, brochure I was telling you guys about, the community event that we do the Shred 10 book, the guides, the Shred 10 cooking, the presentation, all this stuff on here. Look at it all. Order forms, all the different provinces, on and on and on it goes. Look at all the videos. You're wondering where all the Shred 10 videos are? Here they are with a description. 
and more. It just goes on and on and on this website. There's so much here for you guys. PowerPoint presentations, Facebook events, those guidelines, all of this stuff you can save. Look at this, even for Facebook pages, you guys can save all this. Great posts you can use when you're not feeling very creative, you don't know what to post, come on here and grab something. Okay, so on that note, I'm going to stop sharing and turn it over to Jen so you can share. I'm gonna stop. Thanks, Melissa, that's awesome. Yeah, guys, I'm super pumped up actually since we've been back. Um, sort of a thing that was really drilled into us at conference this weekend was to use the Healthy Living Revolution as a catalyst for Juice Plus. So if you're somebody that feels that it's really difficult to share um, Juice Plus specifically or get into a conversation with them about Juice Plus, you know what, I've been sending out messages, I was telling Lindsay today, I think Lindsay's on the call somewhere, that um, I sent out a message on Jimmy's Facebook to two of Jimmy's friends. And I just said, hey, you know what, guys? Um, like, you know, we're back from conference. Had such a wicked time. I don't know if you and uh, if you guys know what Jimmy and I are up to, but we're part of a healthy living revolution. Um, basically, we've got our own online worldwide wellness franchise, and it's this massive movement that's helping people get healthier themselves, get their families healthier, um, and incorporating fitness into their routines. Don't know if this is something that would interest you in hearing more about or even our business, but let me know. Within two seconds, they message me back right away and we're meeting them on Sunday night. So it really is just a lot less icky of a way of introducing the product because then they go to the website, everything's there. They're like, wow, look at all of this stuff that we get for free. And it's just an easy share without having to feel um, uncomfortable about it. So I'm gonna leave it at that, but thanks so much for sharing that, Melissa. So um, we wanted to give you guys some really cool updates. My voice is like this from conference and I do not really party. So just saying that, it's back to like raspy Jen. <laughs> um, but so we were at conference and had some really great takeaways, but our biggest takeaway of the weekend was probably other than the Healthy Living Revolution was um, these so-called graduation calls that some of the teams are doing. So we're just basically borrowing it and we're gonna be budding up with some sidelines to do it. Um, we're gonna be launching it ne not next week, but the week after, and they're gonna be every Monday night. So how it's gonna work is this. We love our team calls. We love the energy on our team calls. We love getting everybody together. I love sitting here and seeing all of your faces. However, if you're brand new to the business um, and you have an upline that's brand new to the business, there's a little bit of sometimes a disconnect in the training because I know me when I first started, I did not have confidence in training certain levels. Um, and so, you know, sometimes you reach to your upline, which is amazing. We, we realize that there's such a need for specific training calls per level that we're gonna be breaking that off into almost like breakout groups on a Monday night. So we're just finalizing the details and the times. Some of the times are gonna be a little bit difficult for certain time zones. They're gonna be around dinner time. They might be around when you're at um, sporting events with your kids. But we're basically leaving in your arms that it's your business. If this is this is an amazing tool that's going to be there for you, if you want it, grab onto it and run with it. So how it will work is this. So say for instance you're a brand new distributor, so you you come in at a dealer level or you're a DD, and you're working to fast track to VF. There's going to be a specific call for all of you as a group. We're going to be working on fast tracking you to VF and talking about the importance of staying qualified after hitting VF. So it's just going to be focusing on your level on that call. Um, there's going to be lots of different sidelines on it. If you don't know what a sideline is, it's somebody else who's running your direct team. Um, and it allows you the opportunity to get to know people on this call while working through these things. We're going to have tons of different fun things that we're going to do with you. There might be a little bit of fun homework just to kind of push you out of that comfort zone, things like that. And it's going to really be an accountability group for you to um, hone in on every Monday night. Right after that call, so each call is going to be a half an hour. So say for instance, um, we had tentatively thrown out times of, and it's not finalized yet, so 8 p.m. would be like the DD and dealers call who are trying to fast track to VF. 8.30 will be the VF groups who are trying to fast track to sales coordinator. Nine o'clock, quick little break because we do our design life you love. 9.30 is going to be the sales coordinator group that's going to try and fast track to SSC. We are still in communication, which is why it's not going to launch next week. It's going to launch the week after. But it is going to be imperative to be on these calls. I know that this is something that 
oh my gosh, I would have like loved on this. And my upline, Melissa, would have loved on this because she wouldn't have had to spend so much specific time. We just know that some of you have day jobs, some of you have night jobs, some of you are shift workers. This way you can hone in on that. They're most likely not going to be recorded. We want it to really be like an accountability group. Like it's a half an hour a week. I know we all have like super busy schedules, kids, jobs, husbands, wives, everything else, but it's a half an hour and it's going to be, um, I can't even say a small sacrifice. It's going to be something that you are going to be um, in that group and you're going to just be saying to yourself that like, you're worth it. You're worth being in this group. And once you graduate on that call, so say I come in, I'm DD and this week I hit VF, we're graduating you. We're putting the music on, we're dancing. We're like, sweet, Lindsay, you've graduated. Get the hell out of this group. Now you're in the next group. And so it's just a really fun way to be like, this is sweet. And then I'm going to see those people and be like, oh my God, I need to graduate too. Or how did you graduate? Can you tell me more about how you graduated? And it gets you guys talking with your sidelines. Buddies on your sidelines, Jeff Skinner is laughing at me. <laughs> it's Kelly's husband. Um, there's nothing more important than sidelines in this business and buddies in this business. So start creating them within your own team, but also reach out like Courtney and Kim and Sarah and Jody and Terry and all the girls on Sarah Beardmore's team are just wicked. So we're going to be butting up with them and we're going to be doing some serious training to help build that confidence that you need to go, you know, rock this marketing plan smoothly because it's so doable and it's even more doable with, an army because an army is what's going to help take you through this. So that is what I wanted to share. I'm going to stop talking because I ramble and I'm going to pass it off to Nicole who's going to share her tidbit. Awesome. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Jen. You guys did such a great job and thank you, Courtney, for sharing your passion with the team. Okay. Hey, so we're usually 30 minutes on this team call, but obviously we have a lot of download. I've got my notes here. I'm all ready to share. Um, I hope I don't talk too fast for you guys. So quick update. Um, we did try to, on Team B page, put as much updates as possible. So hopefully most of you are following along and had a chance to watch the video. So the first one I'm going to talk about, Tower Garden Lights. If you guys saw my live video, you'll notice that there's brand new lights that are available. Um, they will be replaced once our old inventory is done out of the warehouse in Canada. And then there will only be one set of lights and it will be the new version of lights, which the which I've learned at conferences, the lights come out farther so your plants don't get burnt. Because I know for me when I grew indoors, um, the lights are really close to the plants and of course you know how fast the plants grow that the the um, leaves were getting burnt so the new lights come out almost like a i don't know how would you call it it was so cool it looks like this funky it just comes out on the top and um it bends and there's more space for the plants to grow so just stay tuned but that will be out in like january ish um, there were brand new research booklets. There was a lot of buzz around the research booklets, especially for any greens on our team. Uh, the Canadian office is looking into it at this point in regards to if we're going to produce them in Canada or not. I know um, there was a few of us that got as, as many as we could. There wasn't a lot of space left in Melissa's vehicle, but we did get some. I will bring them tomorrow so that you can take a peek at it. Um, and it's just really taking the information that is on the website and putting it into a booklet. So um, I'll bring them, um, but the company doesn't know yet if we're going to produce them because of cost and how many we need to do a run. But we'll keep you posted on that. Shred packages. I will promise you that we will get a shred package here in Canada. Corporate is looking into it. So they did release in a package in the U.S., I believe it cost me $18, and in that package was a shred guide, a taste of the shred, and a rep guide. So $18 US would be about $25 Canadian. And I know Michelle Fioco's distributor in Oshawa actually gave us some pretty amazing prices for a hundred dollar run, like or a hundred dollar unit runs. So we're looking into that. So if, if corporate doesn't produce them at affordable price, we will 
definitely get them so that we can sell them at regionals for you so that you guys have those as tools. And I know Sarah Beermore has done that in the US with a group of NMDs, which is awesome. Um, I want you guys to write down the next four conferences. Get out your pen and paper. Are you ready? April 26th to 28th is in Phoenix, Arizona for next year. You've got six months to save and make that happen. If you've never been to conference, you make it a priority. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't be here today as an NMD and leading you guys along with Melissa and Jen if I didn't go to my first conference. It was the first conference that I, I got some belief in the company, a belief that there were some really cool, decent people and that there was potential. And in that that is where I ended up coming back and started to say yes and make Juice Plus a priority. So conference is a must. You just have to decide and save of when you're going to go. Next one, October 18th to 20th in Tampa, Florida. Great opportunity to take your family on holidays. And then, yes, we have to start planning for, what is it, 2019. So the following year, April. 11th to 13th is in Sacramento, California. And the following uh, fall is October 17th to 18th in Austin, Texas. We've posted that on Team B. Nikki's going to update it. So she's going to add the um, two dates for the following year so that you guys have a two-year plan to figure out how many conferences you're going to get to. Omegas. Okay, so as you saw, Omegas are launched officially in the United States. Unfortunately, we're still not ready here in Canada. It's not without effort. Our Canadian team, along with partnering up with the U.S., have been working so hard um, to make it a worldwide launch, but there are a number of countries that weren't ready because of regulations, and so um, regulations has slowed us down. Um, the Canadian government has never seen a product like this ever in the market, and it's confused them. <laughs> and so they're trying to figure out how to launch something like this without with the right testing. So we're working hard, and we're confident that this product will be launched in Canada. Uh, we're hoping soon. I don't have an official time or date, and I don't want to promise you anything at this point, but, but hold tight. Um, my advice as your leader is um, I haven't really promoted the Omegas on my page because I don't want to disappoint my customers. I don't want to give them hope and then tell them it won't be ready for two or three months. So I've made a decision to not promote it until I get the official okay from corporate Canada. Oh no, she's frozen. <laughs> she's having a login from her. I think yeah. she's on her phone there, and she her internet is usually better on her phone. She's yeah, so like she was saying there's been a lot of people promoting Omegas on there. I've put it out there as a little bit of a teaser, and I've just said it's coming to my clients without any dates. And um, having said that, though, if you have any customers in the U.S., you can order them to those people. Or if you yourselves want them, you can order them to, you know, grandparents, relatives, whatever. Um, just go on your virtual office, change the country to the U.S., and then you can go there and order them that way. Oh, what else? Jen, can you think of other? No. Oh, I think she just logged back on. I'm not sure what else she has done on her sheet. Nicole, are you there? Yeah. Oh, sweet. My phone died. It was charging. I'm on my computer now. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, so yeah, so with Omegas, just be patient. I really just encourage you guys to hold off on the Omega because I know you guys are seeing the U.S. get excited about launch and they're selling it already. You probably have seen sidelines, you know, selling it, saying taking pre-orders. But you know what? My experience working in this industry with the government is that it's it, we, we we want to give you guys hope <laughs> are you there yeah are you we can't hear you nicole you're frozen oh, she's frozen i can mention this hello talking about tower garden is she back 
Yeah, talk Steven about the book quick, Karen. Steven Ritz has a new book out, and one of the ideas was to gift this to anyone that you sell a tower garden to, which I thought was amazing. Um, so really, I haven't read it yet, but of course, it's Steven Ritz. We all love him. So if you don't know who he is, check him out on TED Talks. That's it. Yeah. Um, what else I wanted to say while you're talking about Tim or Stephen Ritz, he shared with us that, as you guys know, he's just literally all over the world. And one of the really cool Is all things, the internet out? there are definitely different yeah. demographics in Dubai <laughs> than in some other places, but he's got a school there that is doing fundraising and they've raised, this is a public, like an element, I guess it's probably a private school, but a million dollars and they are donating it to, um, to uh, Africa to help them be able to grow better food over there. So it's pretty exciting. So the proceeds from this book go right into the Green Bonk Bronx machine. Thanks Karen for the reminder. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, I have a sexy picture on screen, hey? Did I freeze? Yeah, you're frozen. Yeah, that's nice. Love internet, social media is awesome. Um, I just had a few more things here. I hope you guys saw Sarah Marin walk stage as SSC. We were so proud of her. That was pretty awesome. Um, the Vineyard Shoes, they're gonna actually do samples, US only, um, maybe end of November, so next conference, or if you've got any connections in the US, like Courtney, Sarah, Kim, is we can get vineyard chew samples um, after November, which is pretty awesome. Uh, cancer research study summary may, was made available. So you guys want to go to Juice Plus um, uh, YouTube channel to get that. If you are dealing with the green, that's all about science. Um, the or the uh, children's health study, there's some changes. It's going up from $35 uh, to $45. Sales contribution changes from $10 to $12. Um, and it's going to be deducted monthly versus annually. So that is a really good thing. And they're really encouraging us to make sure that customers are knowing about the customer portal. portal so that customers can actually change their orders. Um, and have power over their own order. So right now, it's I think at about 12% of our customers are on the, the customer portal and they wanna double that next conference to 24%. Other than that, that was all of my notes. Um, tomorrow night at Hungry Brew Hop in Newmarket, we will have more conference wrap up. This is on you there. So it's six p.m. tomorrow night <laughs> for our team wrap up. That goes till just after seven. I'm gonna say seven fifteen, and then we have our design a life you love at seven thirty. So get your tickets if you don't have them already. Guests are free. Our tickets are twenty bucks because that includes a delicious dinner from there. Awesome! You guys can still hear me. What are you laughing at? My funny picture. Your screen is black, Nicole. We can't see you. We're laughing because you cut, keep cutting out. You start to say half a sentence, and then I finish your sentence. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad. Thank goodness you know me so well. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate you. Sorry about Hold the on. black screen. Hold Wait, on. there's some questions. What's the title of the Juice Plus Cancer Research Study? I don't know if it's a specific title, but it was the study done on ovarian cancer survivors. And uh, Dr. Um, what the heck was his name, Jen? He just did the new video on it. Um, oh, we'll find it. We'll post it on Team B. I can't. I'm sure we posted it on Team B. Videoed it right when it was going live. Yeah, we did. I posted it. It's on Team B. Yeah, as Courtney says, go to the YouTube channel. Approximate time for the new lights? No, don't. I don't have a date for that. January, they said, potentially in Canada. Yeah, just don't hold your breath. And then what Nicole started to talk about was the Michelle Ball tour in November. We have her in Aurora on the Wednesday, so make sure you go to our team website, book your tickets for that, and then the regional is on Saturday. Um, but we're also going to go up to Aurelia. We've got some rooms up there. I don't know if we have any left. Reach out to Nicole if you would like one. Um, Aurelia is basically sold out. 
it's crazy because there's a stick sponsor. Some of you are probably too young to know who they are. It was a really good band in the 80s. Um, but some of us have room so we could have space. And I was going to say, it's going to be so much fun, the Friday night, total social, and then a great, it's going to be an incredible regional because Michelle is going to be speaking for most of it, starting a new rep. So it's going to be great. So get your tickets before those sell out. Oh, gosh, one more thing. November 9th, we have, um, we are bringing in some external training for you. If you guys, what I mean, we're bringing in external training, meaning they're not in the Juice Plus world. And this girl, Trisha, is going to be talking about creating your, not creating your story, just being able to tell your story so that it is captivating for people. You know, some people, you listen to their story and it's like watching paint dry, whereas other people, you're just on hanging on every word. So she's gonna help us be able to tell our stories like that. She's gonna teach us how to pull out bits of our stories because it's not very often we get to tell our whole story, right? When you meet someone, it's just the little bit about our sick kids or something like that. So how to make that really interesting. And also on social media, when you do a post, how to create a story behind that post so it's much more captivating. So that is November the 9th at 9 p.m. We will send you guys more details. Um, we are covering the cost for all of you guys. So get your butts on the Zoom. It is going to be fabulous. And you even get a workbook afterwards. So it's going to be great. And then our next is it our next one our team call for november the very first one is mo being moved to thursday november 2nd because none of us jen myself nor nicole are available so we're going to do it thursday at nine o'clock the leadership call just before that 7 45 so just the slight change the one time that's all awesome i think that's it hi it's sarah can i um welcome my new team member sarah quinn Sure. She's on the call. Um, she just signed up yesterday, so we're super excited. She's in Kingston, and we're trying to grow Kingston. So just wanted to welcome her to our amazing, fabulous team. Awesome. Welcome. Oh, welcome, Sarah. Woo -woo. Yay, another Sarah. <laughs> Any other newbies? Anyone want to? Yes. yes. Um, I want to welcome Nikita to the team officially, came up to conference, had an awesome time. I sound like Jen Brennan, eh, guys? <laughs> um, but yes, officially welcome Nikita to the team. We signed up yesterday. Great, welcome. Awesome, welcome. Welcome, woo, woo, woo. welcome Nikita. The All only right. man, the only man on our team call tonight. How brave <laughs> is he? <laughs> no, Jeff is on it too. Jeff Skinner's on it oh, too. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome okay guys we'll see you tomorrow night at the event most of you a lot of you good night thanks, thanks.